Okay. Listen to me, African youths. Another definition for insanity is doing the same thing over and over and expecting a better result. We have followed electoral processes in Africa and they have never worked. Before Desire Mumbutu Sese Seko Kukubandu was a banga, went out of power, it was an effort of Joseph Desire Kabila who took some youths. They combated from Kisangani to Lumumbashi right down to Kinshasa and when they arrived at the presidency, the young men were the military joined the army of Desire to kick out Mumbutu. Why? Because they themselves, even the military, they were tired. Let these young men who are in the military and the government in the country of Africa not pretend to us that they are okay. Good. They should not pretend to us because they are equally in the system. They know how rotten the systems are and they even complain that they are not well catered for. A gendarme who goes into the field and they are telling him to defend his salary. That salary is almost 30,000. When you leave school, military school, you are earning 30,000 francs, you are sent to work for, and they defend 30,000 francs. Your blood is worth 30,000 francs. How can they sell a young man for 30,000 francs They defend your salary? That's number one madness. The other nations where they have not bothered to carry out activities to kick out those in power, they have practiced fundums and chiefdoms. Go to Gabon. Omar Bongo ruled and for many years there was nobody to confront him when he was dying he put his son in power the same in Togo Iadema Nasingwe ruled for many years nobody to confront him he put his son into power the same is happening right now in Malabo the same thing in power following these electoral processes to kick out his status is a game of no fruit, no return go down to Burkina Faso it was not election that kicked out Bless Kampaore Go down to Egypt. It wasn't election that kicked out Hosni Mubarak. Go to other nations. Abdullahi Wad in Cote d'Ivoire and Senegal came to power and then tried to change constitution. They told him that if he dares, he will go. He will, he will be exiled. You discover that most of these evil dictators who manipulate electoral processes and cling to power have never gone out through votes. So when I hear Fabrice is telling us that uh, uh, values uh, uh, structure, you follow values and structure when things are normal. You don't follow values and structure when things are abnormal. If the people are bold enough at their 80s and 90s to still steal without respect for state recognition and, and integrity, you two should be young enough to steal. I'm talking as a clergy because the whole system is rotten. There is no way out. I tell most Africans young used to understand that the destiny of this continent is in our hands. And until we rise up and take the bull by the horn, we are going nowhere. How do you explain that elections are being conducted every time before the elections are out? We already know the winner. And then you want to follow a process. That's a madman that does the same thing over and over and is expecting a better result. All right. Museveni is going for a sit term in office. We know who has won. Yeah, really. Alassane Dramon Atara is contesting. We already know the winner. That's yes, already won. I said, yeah, it was on this platform. You were the one interviewing me. I said, I'm speaking with the exactitude of a Jewish prophet. Alassane Ouattara will rise up in the month of August and still say he wants to go in for elections. You were here. Yeah. Ivorians who were following the program insulted me and said their concern has not changed. I said, I'm not in Cote d'Ivoire, but in 2016, when Alassane Ouattara took the second tenure in office, the concern was changed. He his team of crooks combined with the executive secretary of the party, Adama Bitogo, were the ones who went and changed the constitution to put Alassane. So when they took a man Gon Kulibali and put him as a presidential candidate, a man who went through heart surgery in 2012 was a vegetable. Even if he had taken the pie, he would have died after one month. So this drama they are playing in Africa, yeah, we know these things.